I don't know if the, the one, so the one thing just to give uh, people an idea of what's going on here, we'll do a fleet review real quick. So I'm running with a, this is a factory ship here, right there's the factory. And this is pretty much the main ship I've been doing. Now you can have, if you look here at a different factory ship, you can have seed spawners and um, spawn your own R supply, so to say. But the one negative of that is that eventually the inside ones somehow get on the outside and then you start dropping R all around the galaxy. And when that happens... Um, when that happens, <laughs> the enemies are able to propagate pretty quickly because they have this massive quantity of R. So I think it is important, I'm doing Farmer's Faction too, so I think it is important to not have seed spawners in your factory ship. The other thing is I've been, uh, do I have a fleet? I do have a fleet. Okay, so sometimes when I log in I have a fleet, sometimes the game decides I don't need that fleet. So. The other thing is these are the ships I've been using to build my fleet and then when I have enough R I run around and I build a station here so the important thing is one that it has no thrusters and then two that it can self-sustain it doesn't really shoot these seed shooters as it should but it's all seed uh, supporting material see that supports vegetation um, and so this is the factory I've been dropping around, which seems to do better. A, it's got decent firepower. B, it seems to uh, spawn ships appropriately. It just doesn't seem to support seeds the way it should. So if we look here, I do. I am gathering. I have about half a factory in R. And then the final thing is that uh, to cover is the technique, which is that I've been spiraling out which means get it gray or mostly gray and then keep working on the outside the thing about this game is that it will only actively change sectors in the area that you're in so you can see my ship is here my fleet is here and so I've been trying to clear the enemy out of these sectors, let's say, because that's between this gray area and this gray area. This is where you started in the galaxy that will always have this uh, station configuration of the three and two and three and two. And so I'm just trying to connect the two and then hopefully kind of expand out. So I'm going to try and clear in this area here, but if I'm here, then nothing over here, for instance, will change. Nothing really beyond my immediate area, which is, I, I'm thinking it's like maybe three sectors. So it would be, if it was three, it's maybe like six by six sector area is really what is active. Um, and everything else is inactive, so to say. So you can use that to your advantage, which is get it gray and then leave. And so once you've left, it shouldn't change. But stuff similar to where you are, but let's say I fly over here, well now this area can change, right? And if I fly over here, then this area can change. So you just gotta kind of work that technique. I've not found a better technique. Um, and I'm just trying to drop factories so that they, when you are in the area of your factories, they will spawn ships and then they will use those ships to go uh, maintain their area of the galaxy. But it kind of works, kind of doesn't work. You have to do, I would say, 80 to 90% of the work on your own with your ship. So let's just try and clear, like turn this area gray and then maybe we can go up. I just kind of wing it based on, like, see how the R and I spent a lot of time watching the minimap, so I may fly into stuff because I want to see what's turning orange. And the other thing is that it may be orange, but there may be no ships, so maybe you fly in and it'll turn gray. Or sometimes you got to go in and you got to kill it. Sometimes you don't know where the stuff is and you got to go looking, hunting, so to say. But see, I got 18 ships, of which two are able to chase down my enemy. 
And then you kind of want to keep track of it. I saw a big ship up here, so then I'll go up down here. So then I'll go try and eradicate them, because those are the big sources of other... and these green diamonds and in, in my little area I mean technically I should show a diamond on the map because I have a factory but I'm pretty sure none of these other ships have a factory I don't know why we have two diamonds is what I'm saying but I will just say well I don't see any other close by diamonds so let's drop a factory And usually we'll wait and let it get established. See if some of my fleet ships will feed it some R. And then we'll try and clear around the factory and let it try and get itself established. So that's the technique, which is, I think I started with maybe half of the gray area that I have now. But it is slow and steady, I will say. So if you have a better technique, I would be happy to learn it.